Hello and welcome to today's Daily Tarot Outlook reading. Uh, before we begin here, uh, if you have not already subscribed, take this second and click the subscribe button below. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell so you're notified when I upload new videos. And with that being said, I'll draw today's daily energy card. And it is the Queen of Earth. Now the Queen of Earth is one of those energies that is a creative energy. It is one that brings in um, that true motherly um, energy. It is that supportiveness. It's that um, generosity that comes from um, that motherly kind of aspect of the personality. Uh, so this is really positive energy, especially if you are starting on um, doing something with your hands, you know, like a woodworking project, gardening, um, like uh, pottery, anything creative that you do with your hands today um, it is going to be something that really brings out that creativity in you. And it allows you to really create something um, beautiful, wonderful, um, and something that could possibly be um, a lifelong hobby. Um, if this has anything to do with work, this could be a um, lifelong um, profession, maybe, uh, for whoever or whatever project this is. So we'll keep that energy in mind as we move forward. Well, look at that. That did come out upright, it just fell. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles on top of that Queen of Earth, which is the same card. So we're starting out with that same creative energy and enthusiasm for making things beautiful, made, building things, growing things, um, that down to earth um, and generous um, nature that is going on today. Uh, but right next to that, we have the Seven of Swords. And that Seven of Swords is saying that someone may be trying to either manipulate the situation um, lie about what is going on or outright stealing from you. Uh, so really pay attention to um, the people um, today that are involved in this project because somebody um, may be um, hiding the information that you need um, is what it feels like to me today, uh, especially when it comes to your creativity. Uh, maybe there's a question that you have about how to do um, a particular cut in wood or how to grow a particular plant or um, some kind of information is missing, uh, in, <clears throat> excuse me, when it surrounds this, this project and creativity that you're, you're, you're building on today. And then we have the three of pentacles, which is saying that, you know, no, no matter what information it is, or no matter um, who is trying to manipulate the situation, um, there is going to be some triumphs and you're going to really be satisfied um, with what it is that you're working on. And it's going to really start to take form today. And we have the Ace of Wands here, which is really a, another positive card on top of this. It is, you know, that start of that new passion so again, whatever project it is that you're working on is really going to be the start of something big. It, it has endless possibilities. So really grab hold of that Ace of Wands energy um, and combine that with that Queen of Pentacles or Queen of Earth energy. And it's really going to be a positive day for um, creativity, um, redecorating, possibly um, gardening, anything to do with working with your hands. Uh, so whatever it is that you're you're thinking about creating, it's really, it really has endless possibilities to it. And then we have the four of chalices over here, which is allowing that daydreaming energy to come in. 
it's allowing you to really take that um, that Queen of Pentacles energy and that that Ace of Wands energy, and really think about where you could really take this and how far you can take it and how much, how beneficial it could truly be. Um, but don't forget to get the things done today that really need to be done uh, before you allow all this daydreaming energy to come in. And I apologize for the glare there. I'm going to have to get something to put over here for the, that glare. And this is the two of wands. I'll tip that so you can see that card. Um, and this energy, it goes right along with that ace of wands. It's really backing that up. Um, and it does back up this four of cups energy when it comes to, you know, having to decide today, um, really after you're done thinking about how far you can take this and what your plan may be, um, it really um, allows you to make that decision. Um, whatever decision, you know, direction that you decide to go today, um, it's going to be the right, right direction and right decision for you and all involved. Um, that two of fire over there, that two of wands is um, really bringing in that decision-making process and making things pretty simple. Okay, now on top of the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Magician card, which is a really another very positive card when it comes to creativity, when it comes to um, making something out of nothing. Um, that Magician card is really backing up that, that those two Queen of Earth cards. Um, now, that Magician is stating that you have the knowledge that you need you have the passion that you need, you have the direction, you, you, you know, you know, you have all the materials you need, um, and there's nothing really holding you back. Um, so make sure that you capitalize on this energy today and really build something that will become a permanent aspect of your life. Now we have the 10 of pentacles on that seven of swords up there. And what this is saying is, you know, whatever information that may be um, misinterpreted or um, maybe hidden from you, um, this Ten of Pentacles is saying it's not going to be anything that's really a big deal. I don't see um, the stealing aspect coming in with this. Um, the cards are really um, indicating a more positive note that maybe, you know, especially with this Ten of Pentacles being drawn on that Seven of Swords, it's telling me that the information that is missing, you're going to find this information and you're really going to capitalize on it. And it's going to be something that is going to be financially securing for you. Um, so whatever project this is that you're working on with your hands and whatever creative, creative aspects are to this, it's really going to open up a whole new world. Um, it is something that's going to end the, the um, especially money issues um, that have been plaguing, you know, pretty much everybody for the past year or so. But this new creative project that you're working on is going to be something that is um, foundational from here moving forward. Now you see that there is multiple generations. There's children, there's, you know, middle age, there's elderly. <clears throat> So it is that family unit. Um, it's something that you're going to be doing with your family, passing down to your family possibly, um, but it's something that is going to be there for the long haul. Um, so then we have the, um, the nine of wands reversed on that three of pentacles up there. And what that is saying to me is that, you know, there's no worries about um, past failures because things that are that you're going to be making are going to be stuff that is in high demand. Um, there is no having to worry about whether or not this is going to uh, take a lot out of you because it seems to be re a refreshing energy. It, it seems to be something that is going to breathe a, a, a breath of fresh air into everything. 
and really ignite passions instead of making you feel tired. You're going to feel enthusiastic. You're going to feel um, positive towards what's going on. And it's, it's going to be something that is going to be beneficial for everybody that is involved. Again, um, it's not going to wear on you. It's something that you feel you can do long term. And then on top of that, um, Ace of Wands, we have the Lover's Card, which is saying, you know, whatever this new passion is, it's going to involve the people in your family. Again, you know, we have that family card over here. We have this family card over here. Um, that Lover's Card is really making sure that you communicate effectively with everybody involved so you know what materials you need, how much money you need, um, possibly how much land you need if you're, if you're starting gardening and, or anything like that. Um, uh, that way everybody is on the same page and there's no feeling of lack. Um, you have, you know, the magician is saying that you have the materials, you have the knowledge, you have everything you need in order to move forward with this. So just make sure that everybody's on the same page. And with that four of chalices up there, we have another four, which is the four of wands, which is saying, you know, whatever those, those dreams are, whatever those fantasies are, they're really um, solid and grounded. They, they are that foundational energy and, and you can really start to celebrate and move forward with all of this because it's really strategic planning that you've been doing um, today, along with that building of that project, you're really strategically thinking about how, um, and how to expand on this, how to capitalize on it. And it's going to be something that's setting down that foundation. Um, especially when it comes to, you know, bringing back this 10 of pentacles energy, it's that foundation of, you know, um, generational abundance, uh, from what you are creating today. And then we have that devil card that comes in on top of that two of swords, which is saying really um, look at things from all angles uh, before you make that decision. Um, because if you um, decide to go in a more aggressive manner, um, it, you may overdo things. You may end up um, thinking uh or making too much of one thing and then having a surplus that you have to keep or hold on to longer than you thought. Um, so really keep things, make sure all your plans and decisions are um, moderate in, in scope and make sure they're realistic um, and that you can, that you can keep up with um, whatever you're doing long-term instead of um, going all out right now and then being and then burning out so everything in moderation when it comes to um whatever this plan is make sure it's a moderate plan make sure it's not too large in scope make sure it's not um overly enthusiastic because of the energy today make sure that that those um decisions and whatever you're doing is grounded in reality and grounded in re um something that is realistic and, and you're capable of doing. Okay, now for the last clarifying card here. Okay, this first card out here on the magician is the seven of earth. And what is the seven of earth is really saying is once you, you know, really nail down uh, your exact processes and stuff for what this is that you're, you're making with your hand, once you really get that creative juices flowing, you're really going to find your balance here. It's going to be, you know, you've been, you know, this has been something new that you've been working on for a little while now. Um, and once you get rolling on this, it's really going to create that sense of um, perfect balance and, and that sense of uh, you know exactly what you're doing, when you got to do it, um, how to do it, and the results of that work, what those results are going to be and when you can expect them. So there is going to be that real sense of balance today. And then, of course, we have this, this two of fire over here which is again saying that communication with those people that are involved is really important um, that backs up that lover's card over there 
um, this is mercury, this is that, that communication. Um, make sure um, if you sign any contracts, if you um, write down any plans, any, any rules, any structures um, for this new, new venture you're going on, make sure it's all perfectly clear. Make sure everybody understands what's going on. And then we have that two of air reversed here on top of that nine of wands reversed and that three of pentacles. Now you're going to see that, um, that progress. You're going to see how things can take form. And it's, it's going to make you, again, not have any kind of questions whatsoever. You're going to know um, that this is right for you. You're going to know that you can do this for the long haul. It's not something that's going to wear you down. And there's really no um, guesswork. Um, and that's what this two uh, of air reversed is. You know, the two of air upright is decisions that you're not really ready to make. And this two of air reversed is saying you are 100% um, ready for this decision. You know the right decision for you and to just simply go for it today because everything is positively working in your favor today, um, especially when it revolves around this, this specific project. And then we're moving on. We have that Ace of Water on top of the Ace of Wands and that Lover's card, which is really just saying that, you know, whatever this new thing is, you know, it's passion. It, it's going to be a group effort. It's going to be something that involves a lot, involves the family. It really is, is um, feeling like this is that family unit. This is this family start of the family business. It, and the more um, people in the family that you bring in and get involved, the bigger, better this is going to be for everybody involved. And then we have that 10 of earth, which is really saying that you are in that spot that you need to be. It is that, again, that foundation going back to, you know, this one right here. This is the Ten of Pentacles. And this is basically the same card, the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Earth. So it's really backing up that generational energy that we're bringing through this entire reading. Um, it's really something that is going to be solid, it's going to be grounded. It's going to be logical. It's going to be methodical. There's going to be specific ways to, for doing everything. And, you know, the next generation is going to learn this. The next generation is going to take over um, when, when they are needed to take over. Um, it's going to be something that is going to be, um, that's going to expand. You know, you can see all of these people, you know, in this card all standing all over the world. Well, this is going to be something that you can possibly expand throughout the world um, and, and maybe possibly even sell things worldwide. So this is whatever this is, it's going to be really big. It's going to be generational. It's going to be foundational. And it's something that um, you can really take and run with today because your, your methodical nature today is to make that plan and to see the huge picture of everything. And then we have the um, eight of earth over here coming in on that two of wands and that devil card. And that's really telling you to listen to your intuition and make sure you're allowing the, those um, inspirations to come in from the divine when they come in. And also look at um, any of the signs, omens, animals that come in today, even the insects and birds that you see um, outside and really listen to those messages that they are sending you. If you don't know, um, if you repeatedly see an animal, don't know what it, what that totem animal represents, look it up, you know, and really follow those messages because those messages are really flowing in um, almost constantly today from the divine. So really listen to your gut, listen to your intuition, and really capitalize on whatever projects it is that you are working on today because they can be um, very positive for yourself, your family, and your, especially your financial future um, and your children's financial future. So really pay attention uh, to what it is that you are doing today and be creative. Allow those creative juices to flow and everything else will fall into place today. Now, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Before you go, make sure you like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe and ting that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos and I will see you tomorrow.